Today we'll create a sketch inside of ArchiCAD. Starting from the 3D model of our house, we'll then cut through the building, orientating the window so we get the isometric type view. Using a combination of settings, all the way to our final sketch render, with a few tricks along the way to make it look as crispy as possible. To start off, we'll want to be in our 3D view. We'll want to go up to 3D cutaway and make sure it's selected. From here, we should see a little pair of scissors at the top, which we can click and drag down through our building, which is going to cut through our model. Bring it down to just about here, and we'll go finalize. From here, we'll want to right click, go to 3D projection settings. On this icon just here, we'll click once and then we'll go over to the isometric icon. From here, we'll want to line up this camera just so it's parallel with the building. Each of these should be a thousand and then we'll go okay. This should now give us a top-down isometric view into our building. From here, we'll want to go to document, we'll go to creative imaging and we'll go to photo rendering settings. Once we've clicked, our photo render settings will pop up. Now to get that sketch type style, We'll want to go to Engine and we'll want to go to Sketch. From here, to get an idea of how it's going to look before it's rendered, we can click up in this little blank space just here. It's going to give us a preview of what that style looks like with its settings down below. This is a massive time saver. Instead of rendering every single time, we can just click this little low res picture and it gives us a general idea of what it's going to look like. So if we hit Render, it's now rendered out a sketch based on our 3D view. But if we zoom in, we've lost a lot of detail here. We want to get it much crispier like this. Just down below, you'll find a bunch of different settings. Each of these affect how the lines are going to look once they're rendered out, as well as the hatches and the shadows. These settings here are the settings that I've used for this render. Now, if you set your settings, but it still looks like this, there's another final step that we need to go through to get that crispy final picture. When we're in our 3D, we'll want to go across to this size icon just here. So if we click once, we can now adjust the size of the final render. Now a really handy setting is this apply render safe frame. If we click this on, we'll notice that the edges of our view are going to be grayed in. If we adjust the size, say down to 1500, we'll notice that those gray sides have pushed in. So if we then hit render, it's only going to render what's inside the white space. So it's not going to render anything that's in the gray fills. With this in mind, we'd then want to pan our view using a middle mouse button so that our 3D is in the middle. And we'll also want to make sure that it's zoomed in as possible. So I've adjusted the size to be wider and now I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. So the model is wholly within the white space. If I then hit render, we're going to get much crisper lines. Now, if we had it zoomed out and hit render, it's going to look more like this, which by the time when we start zooming in, we have lost a lot of the detail. So always making sure we've got it zoomed in as much as possible before we hit render so we can get that crispy result. Once you've got your settings to just how you like them, I'd highly recommend saving them because it's very easy to lose if you accidentally swap into a different 3D view. So all we need to do is go to scene and go store scene as. From here, it'll give us a dialog at the top to type in a name, arc sketch four, and we'll go store. Now, if we want to import these settings that we've done here into another project, all we'd need to do is click into this scene, then go show more, and then we'd go to export. We we'll then save that in our file. Now, when we open up a different project, we can just go to import. We can find our rendering scene and then go open. With the scene that we want, we'd click and we'd go okay. And that is going to make sure all of our settings match the exact settings that we've set, which can take a lot of tweaking to get things just right. Now, the exact line color that we've used here has this set of numbers for its RGB. So if you click into the color, then match where it says RGB, to the settings just here, 765, 125, 765, 125, and click OK. You should match the exact color that we've got here on the screen. This ArchiCAD file, along with every single tutorial file, is now available over on the Patreon. If you want to skip the setup and just import what you found here into your project, it'll all be available over there. There'll be a link just down in the description. Now, in this video just over here, we cover how to recreate this actual build just here, step by step, from the exterior walls to the internal finishes and furniture. If you haven't seen it, go on and check it out.